Good morning, City Hill Church, and welcome to our daily devotion. Now, I believe that what I'm going to share with us today can be incredibly helpful to our future. I have two simple scriptures, and I trust that they're really going to speak to you. The first one is Philippians 3, verse 12 to 14, which says this. This is Paul speaking, and he says, Not that I've already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to, to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. That God has a, a future for our lives. God had a future for Paul's life, and, and Paul wanted to take hold of it. Uh, then he goes on to say this. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. We've all got a lot of growing to do. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. The next scripture is from Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. It says this, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do not perceive it. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. We don't want what was to rob us from what is and what can be. For us to embrace the future that God has for us, we can't constantly um, focus or drive with our eyes focused on the rearview mirror. We need to focus on the road ahead. My encouragement to you today is let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and know that he has a future for us and for our church. If we constantly go everywhere comparing what is to what was, we can be incredibly disappointed. But if we start to trust God and dream about what can be, we can be filled with faith. I trust that you will focus on Jesus and know that he has an incredible future for his church. Let's take a moment to pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you that we won't be caught up in what was and lose out in what is and what can be. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you help us to take the very best of the time that we're living in to live for your glory and know that you have incredible plans for our future. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you will use our lives to bring your name glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.